And while some cases of coronavirus tend to be mild for children, more than 1,000 children have developed multi-symptom inflammatory syndrome. It's a rare complication, but can be life-threatening. CBS 4's Laura Podesta has more on the first child in the country to receive an experimental treatment. KJ Griffin is a four year old with a big personality. His mom cannot believe she came so close to losing him. It's not a good feeling not to watch your kid like that. In August, KJ was getting sicker. He was sent home from one hospital, but when he spiked a 105 fever, his mom rushed him to MUSC Sean Jenkins Children's Hospital in Charleston, South Carolina. KJ was suffering from multisystem inflammatory syndrome in children, or MISC, a rare but serious complication that can develop after COVID-19 infection. His body was no longer pumping blood effectively to his vital organs and they were starting to shut down. KJ received high dose steroids and aspirin and plasma as well as other drugs to help prevent blood clots. Doctors determined he was also a candidate for an experimental treatment called Remistem Cell L, which uses donor bone marrow cells to regulate the immune system. Dr. Allison Eckert is the Division Director of Pediatric Infectious Diseases. It acts as if that person is making those cells themselves. And so they circulate in the blood and release anti-inflammatory cytokines. The thought is that not only does it turn down inflammation, but it actually repairs some of the damage that's been done. Within 24 hours, KJ's cardiac function returned to normal. We gave his second infusion a couple days later because his markers of inflammation were still very high. But within another 24 hours, they had started to come down and he was soon able to be discharged from the hospital. KJ continues to recover. He basically in perfect health. You would have never thought he was sick just a couple of months ago. Even though his condition is rare, his mom says she wants other parents to be aware. Laura Podesta, CBS News.